Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. This is the Dreamer collection of camper vans for 2021. This is their D62 model, which uh, I think is possibly, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's the most interesting of all of them. They've got here, this thing is going to cost 63,400 euros and 32 cents. And uh, right, so it has, it is four sitting places. It's got 110 litre water tank, six two full gas canisters, and it's got Truma Combi 4CP plus. So uh, that sounds uh, reasonable as far as the uh, heating is concerned. But what this is, it's a bit of a, it's really a motorhome. It's a camper van. Right, what's this doing here to start off with? Well, you know, the gas has to go somewhere. And that's, a, I suppose, as good a place as any. Some camper vans are usually have the, the, the kitchen sort of here. What they've done here is to put it in a um, sort of, not, not quite an L shape, but almost an L shape behind the seating. Oh, don't know if the lights are on or not. Let's see if we can get the lights on. It's even better. This, this Rapidor, of which Dreamer is a brand, has very nice lighting. Oh, this definitely appeals to me like this. But there's one thing here, it doesn't got a flat floor. And then again, I suppose, what camper van does have a flat, flat floor? I'm forgetting that this is not a motorhome. Side bed. It's a pretty good toilet, this, for a van. Wet room, I should say. It'll come in completely. we have got quite a lot of room in here. Turn around. See me. Mm -hmm. I think sort of really can feel this the space in here, the room. And uh I suspect what they did was they got the motorhome that looks like this and then they worked out how to put a camper van it into a camper van. Enormous fridge, space for storage under the bed. This bed here says it supports life. Okay, uh, hypoallergic, aller, aller, hypoallergic. Right, two uh, burners, which is normal in a camper van anyway, and. Uh, Automatic sink. This comes with a cover, which is not visible. Oh, sorry, you, can't, you, you can scarcely see it's there, but it is there. There's the cover for the hobs. And uh, you've got one USB there. And most companies don't put enough USBs in. In my opinion, I've got USBs all over the place in my van, but then again, my van was built to my specification. There we go, turn that round. That's a central locking for these. I don't know if the central locking is better because at least when you, you've got these clicky things, uh, you can actually see if it's locked or not. With this, you can't really tell. Anyway, should really, before moving off, we should really check to see that there all the things are in fact closed. Now, question, how good is the quality? Well, first thing is you have to bear in mind if something's cheaper than something else, there's a reason for it usually. And it may not just be marketing. It could be distribution costs, or it could be qualitative costs. 
that we don't know until we talk to other people. Um, I've never taken one of these vans out. I have no idea how it works under, under strain or pressure or being driven. And uh, in the real world, how good is it? So I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. People always ask me about the quality and they say, can't you, can't you tell by looking at something? Well, I can tell when I come into a trade fair and the thing is broken, that I can tell. And uh, although of course it could be people using force, which somebody who knows what they're doing would never actually do. This also goes up if you want it to. Yeah. Right, so of these large vans, that is definitely my favourite. And they all come at a similar sort of a cost. This thing here is called a living van, and uh, as opposed to a dead van. And this has got a very unusual lounge setup at the back. You're sleeping in the roof. Well, the bed will come down, of course. And you've got this sleeping. Of course, you've got next to no storage potential for it. This is a more typical uh, camper van setup, if you like. Size of all of these. It's all the same price is more or less the same just have this very nice panoramic uh, roof light you've got a bed in the roof and we've got this unusual shower setup so you've got this here which is a wardrobe There's your shower. What if you want the bed instead of a wardrobe? Goes in there. Access to the wardrobe here. Sensible use of space, I think. There's your bed. And here is the toilet. So that's uh, this one's a sort of a typical sort of camper van. The other one there is a, a novelty for those who want the the rear lounge. Obviously, it depends on your requirements. So that is the uh, thing you've always got to think about. What what's what's it going to be used for? And I think lots of people don't actually think about that. What, what is the object of the exercise? So, here we have it once more, this time from the front. Ah, one thing I forgot to add was that is it can be put in a 4,250 um, kilo basis and that's going to give you, oh, what, 1,300, 400, something like that, kilos of payload. I mean, it's, that's absolutely enormous. So uh, I don't know what the empty weight is. I'm sort of just really guessing here, but it's more or less based on experience anyway. So it's a nice looking van, I think. Getting a motor home for the price of a camper van, so to speak. Or a camper van that looks like a motor home. We can see also got the three uh, skylights at the, at the top which are open. Plus uh, there's another one which isn't open above the uh, driver's cabin. 
Right, good. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that interesting. And uh, all the best from Dusseldorf.